Hey guys, how you doing? It is the SWA Heavyweight Champion, the Never Openweight Heavyweight Champion, and one third of the Never Openweight Tag Team Champion. Or is it six man tag team? I don't know, I have a lot of titles, and I've yet to defend any of them, I've yet to be physically seen with any of them, but it has yet been stated in the story that I've either been stripped of the title or having lost them at a defence in between chapters. So as far as I'm concerned, I have three titles now. I'm going to end up looking like that Triple H with all the titles meme before we get to the end of this game. Anyway, 12.4 percent. Bleh. Thank you, Tuesday. Thank you, I'm having a great day so far. Joining the main unit, chapter 45. Prob probably should start doing vocal warm-ups or something before this. What do we... Dominion... I've heard of that. Dominion 6.11 is a pro wrestling fan's dream. The 10 fight card is nearly all title matches. Ooh, maybe I'll finally get to defend my title. Hey, there we go! I will be defending my... The t my... <laughs> God. I will be defending my title of never open weight champion. <laughs> okay. I've been the challenger my whole life and now I get to play the defender. I'll show my fans I can fight like a champ. It's almost fate that my opponent will be none other than New Japan Pro Wrestling's biggest foe, the leader of Suzuki Gun himself, Minoru Suzuki. There they are. Where the hell have you lads been? You, like, showed up and caused havoc for one episode, and then you just pissed off. Now you're, now you're back, though. Well, that's good. <laughs> he tarnishes the New Japan... Re New Japan... Oh my god! The, the New Japan Wrestling Pro! <laughs> That's, that's, not, that's not even like a translation error, that's just a straight up uh, spelling error. He tarnishes the New Japan Wrestling Pro with, with his disregard for the rules and honour. I've got the best motivation for this match I could ever hope for. I'll be defending the reputation of New Japan Pro Wrestling. There we go. <laughs> um, oh, and I have to mention in the last episode, um, at several points they refer to the open way title as the overweight title, which a quick Google search um, showed me that was just a translation error. Still, that's that's hilarious. Anyway, naturally, Suzuki brought all of his cronies with him to the arena, and there's a weird energy in the air. I should be careful. Oh. Hey, I'll go with you just in case. Makabe, thank you. To be honest, I was a bit anxious. Oh. I figured as much. Tanahashi has a title match right after yours, so he couldn't make it, but I figured I'd come and cheer you on. I can't thank you enough. Sure, just remember, you owe me now, huh? Oh. Hell yeah! Right, can we get into this? Hello game? Oh, there we go. And don't worry, we can do this. You focus on Suzuki, I'll handle the rest of them. Thanks! Alright. Uh, oh. Oh! <laughs> you think you could beat Suzuki? Ugh, think again. Darina. The Grifter. Taichi Ishikari. Likes Bullet for My Valentine. I like Bullet for My Valentine, so I don't know why I'm saying that in a judgy tone. <laughs> Uh, the leading anti-hero of Suzuki Gun, the seasoned veteran takes pride in being the most hated wrestler in sport. In the sport, despite his impressive fighting experience, loyal to a fault, tai Taichi is Suzuki's right-hand man, both in and out of the ring, and he's got a funny little hammer as well. Would you step aside? My opponent's over there. You think you? Uh, you think you can tell me what to do? <laughs> it's all right, Taichi. Stand down. Yes, sir. Whatever. <laughs> so this is the one who calls himself a champion, eh? You'd think New Japan Pro Wrestling would be ashamed to have such a pathetic kid representing them. Who are you calling pathetic with that stupid haircut? Whoa, you heard me. You're out of your league, kid. Why don't you just lay that belt down now and leave? I don't know. Why don't you get a proper haircut? Get a job, you bum. Crowd's excited. Not a chance, you're about to find out the hard way that this kid's got some serious fight in him. <laughs> right, thank you, crowd. Pretty big talk coming from someone so scrawny, but I'll bite. What do you say we change the rules a bit? Lumberjack style, maybe? Yeah! Bring it on! Great. Crowd is chomping at the bit to see how the lumberjack match pays out. Suzuki Gun, your reign of terror ends here. Oh, sorry, that was meant to be my, my internal thoughts. Okay. So this will be my first lumberjack match, and my first title defense, 
And my first one-on-one -on -one match with the leader of Suzuki Gun. Or should I just say Suzuki himself? So yeah, never open weight title match. Let's effin get into this fight. <laughs> Am I gonna get a title? Oh, can I get an entrance so I can actually see myself with my title? That would be really cool. Are we going to do that? I don't think they're gonna do it. I think you're just gonna cut to the ring once this really long load screen's over. It, this is abnormally long loading for this game. Are you all right, game? Are you feeling all right? There we go. Yeah, no entrance. Where, where are the lumberjacks? The, wh where are the lumberjacks? Hang on, there has to be. They have to be somewhere. Hang on, just give me one second here. Oh, no. Whoa. Oh. Wait. Uh, so once you leave, you just automatically. Okay. All right. So you're not allowed to leave the ring. So instead of there being. <laughs> So, in this game, instead of there actually being people outside to physically beat you up and throw you back in the ring if you leave, you're just not allowed to leave the ring. Well, you can try, you just automatically go back in. That's dumb. So dumb. Up. Oh, when am I going to just learn to get rid of that dropkick? Okay. Alright, take him seriously. Take him seriously. Okay, let's, let's bop him a couple of times and then we'll, we'll move on up the, uh, the hour move set. The repertoire. Rep Ritter! <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me today? Come on. That was what? What are we on? Three? Four? I'd like to do five. Oh god, Jay. Come on. There we go. Come on. Hit him with an elbow. There we go. That's that's the way we do it. Hit that. Body slam. Elbow drop. Reprieve. Come here. Come here. Thrust. Thrust. No, don't. Ah, no kick for you. Right. Get another way in. Get another one. Yeah, there we go. I have to move on to the. No. Medium moves. That's it. No counter from you this time, lad. I'm gonna catch my breath off this one. I have to be very careful because I, I sometimes tend to uh, forget to regain my breath, so I could wind up doing a lot of uh, a lot of moves in a row without. Oh no! Hey, come on! How are you not worn down enough? All right, you know what you get. You know what you get. Uh oh. Okay, strong strike contest. I can win this. Come on! Ah, ah down he goes. Yeah, now nah, that's a good chance to catch my breath. They, uh, you know what, if I was... Uh, whoa, what, what, what are you doing? Relax. Oh, he must do um, MMA as well. Which is is actually an aspect of this game, funnily enough. There are elements of, of mixed martial arts. I uh, haven't seen him yet in the actual story. Well, that takedown your man went for was the first sign of it. Oh, come on. Come on! Just elbow drop him, please. Please, let's do another... Let's throw him... Oh, he's going to go out of the ring, isn't he? No, no, of course, because we can't. It's a lumberjack match. Get two elbows in. Very good. Catch my breath to sucker him in. There I go. Oh, you're going for another takedown and another takedown. No. And just choke him out. Grab him from behind. What do you say, Suzuki? Now he's able to get out. Five Japanese minutes into this match. Ah, fatality. Big spin kick. Excellent. <laughs> just hold L on your... Oh, wait. Oh, come on. They never stay down long enough for you to get behind them. Hang on, I want to do a behind move now. Let's... I'm just... There, an elbow to the back of the head. Oh, my impressive technical skills. Just whomping you in the back of the head with me elbow. Alright, come on. There. <laughs> I love that move. And, oh, for... Come on, no! Oh, quick, again. Again, just... Take him down. Come on, get to... There we go, there. This is how we... Oh, come on! Only one. Alright, get that spike dri pile driver in. Nice little signature. You know, maybe I should think about getting some sort of synergy between my signatures and finishers in this game and in WWE 2K19. Back body, there we go, with the bridge. I actually think that technically, I don't think it technically counts as a finisher. I think it might be a signature as well. The, the bridging back body drop. Anyway, first power bomb, he'll kick out. Yeah, of course. So we just go right into another one. Come on. Don't make me look weak here now, just to stay down to the second one. Oh, 2.9. Come here. 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 There we go. Third one. This is it. It's all over now. Thank you for coming, Suzuki. You and your invisible cronies. Hey. Oh. So, you like to talk shit about me, do you, huh? Oh, uh, who's a kid now, huh? Who, who, who's a bad representative of professional wrestling? Uh, who has no honor now? Who disgraces the business? Ah. <sighs> I do. Right, well, that was fast and furious and sexy. 
First title defense. Very cool. Success. Do I get fireworks? Yeah! Hey! I like it. Oh, 900 training points. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I, like, I'm gonna have all my stats maxed out by the time we're like 25% into the game. Anyway, the moment the match was over, Suzuki Gun rushes the ring for another brawl, but the main unit's having none of it. Uh-uh. Crowd roars in excitement. They're cheering for me. A Suzuki Gun resentfully exits the ring. You howl into the microphone. Hey, Suzuki, how'd you like that, huh? That's how a real New Japan pro wrestler fights. Thank you, the Borg Collective. Suzuki Gun momentarily seems to consider jumping back into the ring, but decides to head back to the locker rooms instead. Yeah, get out of here. We are the core of New Japan Pro Wrestling, and nobody can stop us. I'm, I'm feeling like someone's going to interrupt me here. No? Defending my first title by defeating Suzuki Gun was no fluke. I'm a lot stronger now. There is that uncontrollable ego from the, that we saw at the start of the game. I was wondering where that went. This victory is a defining moment for my role as a central figure in New Japan Pro Wrestling. Very good, and where are we off to next? The 2018 Dome event is barely six months away, and my dream of becoming a headliner in Wrestle Kingdom is in reach. Are we six months away? Oh, yeah, I suppose they do these weird time jumps. It'd be so, so pedantic and showing you every minute detail, and then all of a sudden it'll just be four months later. So random. Anyway, so yeah, halfway from that first Dome event. Oh... Dominion 6.11's main event featured IWGP heavyweight champion Kazuchika Akada versus challenger Kenny Omega. Is this the match that ended in a time limit draw? I, I, I think it is. Man, they're showing lots of pictures. Oh. Yeah, Okada successfully defended his title for the entire 60-minute match in what will be remembered as one of the sport's most legendary bouts. I'll admit, I actually haven't seen that one. I saw, like, the first match they did, the 45-minute match at Wrestle Kingdom, which fucking detonated the internet. I watched that match, which was absolutely awesome, and I've always been meaning to watch that second match. I think the problem is, and this is not just for New Japan, it's for all of wrestling, the actual end, the finish of the match was spoiled for me beforehand, and I, and it's, I'm just, I, I, it's very weird. Like, if I watch a match and I, and I enjoy it, I can go back and watch it despite knowing the finish. But if I haven't seen a match and I'm told who's won um, and how they've won, I, I tend to just give it a skip. It's a really weird thing. I'm depriving myself of fantastic wrestling. I know, but it's just, you know, if you, if you know who's going to win a football match, would you still watch it? There, exactly. <laughs> and you know what? You would think they would have gotten... You know what would have made this game so much better? It, like, see how many pictures they're showing. Like, they're clearly trying to show off as much of the match as possible. It, they, they could have gotten maybe a 30-second clip. Like, a, a montage. That would have been something. Well, anyway, that, that, that could be for uh, Fire Pro Wrestling World The Return Revival 2.0.1. Whatever the sequel to this will be. Uh, anyway, the combats keep the audience mesmerized for an hour straight with a heroic display of stamina, determination, and spirit. The, and actually, I think you saw, saw it there. One of the big spots I'd heard was uh, uh, Okada going for the Rainmaker, and <laughs> Omega's able to dodge it because he just passes out, <laughs> like ducks the clothesline from just collapsing out of his own fatigue. Huh. If I want to make it all the way to the top, I have to become as good as them one day. And hang on, so this is the same event as the one I just defended by No Ever Openway title. That's very interesting how. They're going back in time, and they're using real-world events, but I'm part of it. It's like the Lord of the Rings of the Third Age, except... I'd argue the story is much better in this than in that. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, and now, now I do really actually want to go watch that Dominion match between Omega and Okada. I guarantee you, when I get around to Omega and Okada, it's not going to be an hour long, and that's not going to end in a draw. Oh, no, sir. Right, time to get more training done. 12.7%. Don't forget to save Scum J. And you know what? Screw it. Let's let's press on to the next match. See what we've got in store for us. What, will I finally... What's, oh, the G1. Excellent. Summer is here, and with it, the biggest draw of the year. The G1 Climax Tournament. Ha! <laughs> Climax. <laughs> this 20-man league serves to answer the burning question. Who is the strongest member of New Japan Pro Wrestling? Victory means just as much as a title belt. I'm not really recognizing. 
<laughs> okay, I'm being mean here. Oh, there's Makabe. Okay. Uh, all the biggest names in pro wrestling will be in the spotlight. Being selected to participate is its own badge of honor. Cool. Ah, there's Okada. There's Okada again. And I get to be a part of it. I've never been doing better than I ever expected since my return to Japan. How hilarious would it be if I was getting everyone's names wrong? <laughs> of the people I didn't recognize. <laughs> what if I was remembering the wrong name? Anyway, uh, but we had just seen in the last um, the last match there that this is following real life history of like last year. So who won the G1 last year? And can I do I actually have the option to win this time? Hang on one second. Google, who won the G1 Climax 2017? Naito! Tetsuya Naito, okay. So we'll have to keep an eye out for him. Ha ha ha! But what I want that! <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Ha ha ha, my dream is finally coming true. The G1 Climax. I thought winning the IWGP Championship was the dream. I thought winning the Never Open Weight was the champ was the dream. Okay, yeah, because this is... There's a thing... It's not just... I don't... This is not single elimination. Oh, God. Yeah, this, is, this isn't single el elimination. You have to, like... I, th I think everyone has to fight everyone... So, what you have? Tanahashi, Makabe, myself, Ib Ibushi, Goto, Ishii, Yoshi, Fail, Lizuka, and Naito. W would Omega and uh, Okada not have been in this? Okay, fair enough. So, um, the A bracket will be Tanahashi, Makabe, Ibushi, Goto, Yoshi, Hashi, Fail, Lizuka, Ishii, Naito, and me. Hang on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh yeah, so there's a B bracket as well, because there's 20 lads in total. So Okada and Omega must be in a separate bracket. Anyway. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, the B bracket will be Kojima, Tonga, Elgin, Okada, Yano, Kenny, Ta uh, Tamatonga, Suzuki, Sanada, and Evil. The lineup alone is enough to get my blood pumping. Tanahashi and Naito could end up as my opponents in the A bracket. If I win, I'll make New Japan Pro Wrestling history. Imagine taking my first G1 tournament. I'd become a living legend overnight. Alright, they have to force you to lose this. There's no way they're going to let you win the G1 on your first go, like. Are they? Alright, yeah, so... um, Okay. Yeah... As you can see here, again, not single elimination. It, uh, it works off, how we call it, points. It's like a league, like football. Watch out for the offside rule. So what's, yeah, okay, so, yeah, we, right, right, right. Yeah, so let's have the first match. <laughs> Damn it, why, I should, you know what? I should have known the G1 was going to come. So, uh, Yoshihashi. Okay, let's get a look at your son. All right, fair enough. I can take you on. Yeah, I, I should have known the G1 Climax was going to be a part of this game, obviously. So made, it might have been in my best interest to Google how the actual thing works in terms of the points you score and all that uh, before I go into this. Um, and this is an important tournament, but looking at the clock here, because uh, I, I don't want to keep this overly long, I don't think we're going to have... I'm going to show this match in its entirety. We'll probably end up just skipping to the end. And hopefully, I'm not locked into just doing the tournament now. Hopefully, there'll be a save point after every match. That way, after this, we can, you know, have a big... We can all have a giant climax together then in the next episode. All right, I think you're sufficiently worn down, Yoshi. Ah, oh, I could have gone to a back attack. It doesn't matter. I get more time to replen replenish my stamina. Damn it. I can't. <laughs> Square and eggs at the same time, Jay. Come on. Powerbomb him. Here we go. Sorry, Yoshi. You're done. You're my favorite character in Mario Kart. Ah, oh, come on. I'll give him credit, though. He's he was countering a lot more. Like, I don't know if that's just random chance or if they're actually ramping the difficulty up, but he did put up a fight. So, I'll be... I, and I, I'll be nice. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you, you were all thought I was going to hit him or something, didn't you? No, I, I could be respectful from time to time. Once every maybe eight episodes or so, I might show someone respect. Respect is earned, though. Not given. There's my 600 training points. The um, first first match, the G1 tournament. Oh, hang on, I have to get my training done first. 
Woohoo! G1 Climax 27. Oh, come on, game. 12.9%. You couldn't have just bumped it up to 13 and make me feel really good. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you want to know what's happening in the next one, the G1 Climax. Now, I have some research to do. I'm going to Google how many matches I should expect to have if I'm going to win it. I, I, I think if memory serves, I believe... Uh, um, Again, don't take my word on this because I've never watched the G1 Climax, but from what I re remember overhearing, I think everyone has to fight everyone within their own bracket. So there could be a lot of matches. If there are, I'm going to have to break the G1 Climax up into several videos. Uh, but anyway, G1 Climax 2017, G1 Climax 27. But we'll get the ball rolling on that. One match down, so I probably have at least nine more matches to do within my own bracket. Maybe we can do three a video or something. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Feel free to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and ring that notifications bell. Follow me on Twitter. A link to that will be in the description. I'm starting the Spider-Man DLC uh, tomorrow. That's the heist, the, the Black Cat um, DLC. Um, so, yeah, we can get cracking with that. And feel free to stick around if you want to see it. Anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Cheers!